This is the black hole at the center of the universe, available on eBay. This is the Mabel theory. Mabel is the mother of all black holes. This is the publisher, Udo Publishing, and that's their logo. It's the SETI station. This Mabel theory is all about the black hole at the center of the universe. Now, there are two kinds of expansion. One starts fast and one slow and starts fast and slows down. The other one starts slow and speeds up. These are opposites. This is an outward expansion. All outward expansions, say like an explosion, start fast, slow down and stop. All inward expansions start slowly and speed up. Now, in 1998, they found out it wasn't the first kind, but the second kind the cosmos was engaged in. This speeding up expansion is the holy grail of science. That's what I've heard. This is inward expansion. This is outward expansion. These are opposites, so you can tell. Thank you. Where can we find examples of this inward expansion? We don't know about inward expansion. Let me tell you about it. This is a room with a vacuum cleaner sticking up through the floor in the middle. Nozzle of a central vac here, operating, and it pulls the air in slowly at first and faster and faster. Speed arrows, longer arrows to no high speed. Here, it's normal pressure. The pressure falls till you get here. It's actually a vacuum or near vacuum at the point here. This is the point of lowest pressure or highest expansion. Lowest pressure, highest expansion. Pressure and expansion are opposites, of course. And now, here's three examples of inward expansion. Combination of air and dust particles, combination of air and dust particles, approaching a vacuum cleaner, speed up, this combination speeds up, loses temperature, expands, and loses pressure. There's a, vac there's a vacuum there. It's going towards a vacuum, a low pressure. Swirl of water going down a drain. At the outside edge, it speeds up, cools, and expands. Not very much, maybe, but it definitely loses pressure. And you can hear the noisy sucking sound at the drain. When you breathe in, the air in front of your nose is pulled in, it speeds up, it cools down, it expands and loses pressure. These are actually three vortices. Now look, this is a machine doing this, but I like it because it shows the elasticity of air and gravity is also elastic. If you jump up, you don't hit your head, you get pulled gently back to earth. Swirl of water going down a drain. This is a vortex. This is a, you can see it and you can hear it. You can hear the noisy sucking sound. And in addition, this is gravity operated. The universe is gravity operated. The universe too is speeding up, cooling down, expanding and losing pressure. When you breathe in, in front, in the air in front of your nose, I, I like this one because it shows how common, how far you have to go to find an example of inward expansion. How far do you have to go? It's, you've got one right in front of your nose is a darn good example of inward expansion. Now, there's a cosmic background radiation way, way back up there. It's, there's a heat. They say it's proof of the Big Bang. This heat by itself, I don't think so. I think it's warm hydrogen is what it is. It's the remnant of the original cloud that's still the same as it always was since birth. This vacuum cleaner's been running for five minutes, but this air st up here has still not moved, nor has this air here. The air is elastic, and this air doesn't even know that there's a vacuum cleaner running here, even after five minutes. Now the original hydrogen cloud is still, this is, this is a remnant of it. The proof is in its lack of movement. It just sits there. Now I, after a big bang, it's going to sit there? I don't think so. The center of the gas cloud evolved first. 
but even after trillions of years of evolution, the outside still has not noticed. The Big Bang Theory looks backwards, and this theory looks forward. This is the Mabel Theory. The Mabel Theory looks forward to the future. How many eyes are there in the back of your head, and how many eyes are in the front of your head looking forward? What's more important, to look backwards or forward? They say we came from an exploding black hole 13 billion years ago. They have the time running backwards. We will reach Mabel in 13 billion years. In order to have a Big Bang Theory, you have to fabricate two repulsive forces, Big Bang and Dark Energy. The Mabel Theory needs only gravity. Its own gravity alone caused the universe's evolution. They used to believe that humans were created proof just like that. Darwin showed us we evolved slowly. They still believe the universe was created proof just like that. I'll show you we evolved slowly. What's a fabrication? A fabrication is something that's made up or invented in science. On news that the observable universe has been seen to be expanding, a certain Belgian priest assumed the whole universe was expanding, the observable universe was expanding, and said there must have been a big bang because it agrees with the Bible, it got a lot of support. In 1998 they found out that the expansion was increasing. Scientists invented in the repulsive force, they called it dark energy. These repulsive forces don't exist. They're fabrications, exploding black holes, that doesn't happen. Disappearing black holes, another fabrication. The universe evolved from a wisp of hydrogen that attracted gravitationally, another wisp of hydrogen, together they attracted a third. Hydrogen is the simplest, most abundant element. How are we doing for time? Fusion changes hydrogen to helium. Stars are born, grow old, and die. Earth, and they producing iron and rocks, and the Earth came this way. We are thinning, cooling. The Mabel theory is really good for looking to the future. In the future is a void where black holes are forced to eat their accretion disks, or else at risk having them ripped off in high-speed battles with other black holes. We're thinning. In the future, we're thinning so much, in the, in, in the center of the universe is all extremes, it is a void. We're cooling, there, here there's no light, everything is in its Bose-Einstein state, it's about one degree above absolute zero. Matter morphs, but mass remains here in the space of least density occur the biggest clumps. Eventually everything falls into Mabel. Okay, 807. How can we be sure it's a black hole we're falling into, not just the center of mass of the cosmos? The big rip in 2003, they talked about a foot on the accelerator of the cosmic expansion. Expansion is increasing exponentially, according to Lee Smolin of string theory. It's the increasing rate of acceleration that shows us we're falling into a black hole. Now look, and this is important. There's a law, this is Latin, lex parsimoniae. It's the law of succinctness. It's a law in science that says the simplest theory wins. The Mabel theory needs only gravity to operate. This is the, what's really happening to the universe. Nine minutes. Okay, cut. I'm Peter Lamont, and this, that's the Mabel theory. Cut.